Hey, how's it going everyone? I uh, got another backpack review for you. Thank you to Young's Backpack and posting this. Seriously, um, half of my reviews wouldn't be possible if it weren't for these guys. So if you guys are in the Berkeley area, check them out if you like any of these gear reviews. Um, they'll sort you out. Anyways, what you're looking at here is the Gregory Z55. Uh, and this is a bag for somebody who's really serious about their outdoor activities. Uh, Gregory is known for quality. They're right up there with like other high line brands like Osprey or Arteryx or uh, Deuter. Um, basically, I'm gonna give you a, a look at the outside and inside of this bag and maybe this will entice you to come by and maybe uh, check it out. Uh, anyways, as the name suggests, this is a 55 liter bag and it has a generous amount of space. Now this is empty, I took all the padding and bulk out so it looks really thin, but this has an incredible amount of uh, capacity. It's a top loading design and I'll get to that in a second, but first let me talk about the suspension. Here what you have is a back panel that is curved away from the uh, wearer's body and there's a single aluminum stay inside and I'll give you a look at that here. And then you got padding with a mesh sheet right here to keep your back away from the main part of the bag so that you don't get sweaty back syndrome you get a nice amount of circulation here it's very similar to the air comfort system you'll find in Deuter bags um, have a nice padded waist belt but I like waist belts that are thinner just because I don't like to feel that I have like this huge thing on it and then on either side of the waist belt good job they put uh, side pockets. I mean, if you're going to put a waist belt, why not add pockets to it? Uh, they're zippered, and the only thing I don't like is the fact that they're mesh. I would have liked if they put like nylon or some sort of material just because by having mesh here, dirt or moisture can get in here more easily. But still, very thankful for the pockets on either side. You can put small things like say a digital camera or a phone in here. You can get it uh, really easily. Or a GPS if you're hiking. Uh, so yeah, good job on the waist belt. And it secures by a clasp, like so. Love the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps aren't thick, as you can see right here. And as you can see, there is a, I don't know what kind of material they use, but it breathes really well. I was walking around with this and around the store and it just feels really good. And I love the fact that instead of adding more and more padding, which is just gonna make this bag hotter, uh, they use this uh, special mesh and they basically just shape it so that it feels lighter. It just feels comfortable. You don't need a thick shoulder uh, strap to have it comfortable just have it shaped correctly and positioned correctly on your body So that's a good touch right there Then you have the adjustable sternum strap that rides on this tube This seems to be like the new design for a lot of bags They like to ride on a tube instead of having a, a little strap like a traditional shoulder straps on older bags So yeah, that's a good job right there As you can see you got the haul loop right here. Sorry if I can't fit all this bag in a frame This is quite a large bag and flip this guy over as I said before top loading design is affixed by these two clasps on either side. And on the top of the bag, you have front access right here to the main bulk of the top flap, like so. And the top flap can be detached. All you have to do is undo this strap, undo this strap, you can undo the clasp. And you can do what some of my friends do, what they do is they'll get a top loading bag. Then when they reach their destination, say a campsite or a hostel, they'll leave the main part of the bag They'll detach the cover and they'll use the cover as a day bag as they're walking around town. So if you have the option of doing that, all you have to do is just undo some clasps and some straps. And if you want, you could actually get your own straps and then clip it here and use it as like a, a shoulder bag. Before I get to the main part of the main uh, compartment of the bag, let me just talk about this mesh pocket. This is a serious mesh pocket. Um, this thing, most people, they put a main mesh pocket and it's just maybe big enough to maybe put a sweater, maybe a pair of shoes or a helmet. This thing is huge. I don't know how else to explain it. Just look how big that thing is. I mean, I could stick like a baby lab in here. <laughs> really, it's a lot of room. You could probably stick in like a sweater and gloves and a helmet, maybe a pair of shoes in here. It's just really nice and roomy. I haven't seen this much space in any other bags really. So, I mean, and the fact that it is a mesh pocket, it's on the outside. If you need to quick grab something and you don't want to get into the main part of your bag, all you have to do is stick it in this pocket and uh, it'll be readily accessible. And plus the fact that it's on the outside of the bag and not gonna contaminate the main compartment, you could do things like stick your muddy boots in here or a uh, umbrella or something like that in here and you won't have to worry about it uh, contaminating the main part of the bag. And plus um, it'll be easier to clean this compartment as well because it is flow through as well. By the way, there is a zipper right here for a front pocket, and this pocket is actually quite generous. It actually takes up the entire area of this uh, front flap. Uh, just to give you an idea, on either side, my whole hand can fit on either side, like so. So even though it is flat, you have this generous amount of space, so stuff can stick out a little bit. So that's a nice little touch right there. Fills up this entire flap area of the bag. 
you got side compression straps on either side, two on either side right here to tighten the bag. And then going into the main compartment, which is affixed by this class. If I undo that and open this bag up, sorry. Top loading design, very secure. Um, I like, I prefer top loaders over panel loaders just because I feel it's more secure. If I open up this bag a little bit, you see that in addition to the main compartment, you have this little elastic pouch so you can separate your gear and put some flat items in here. And then if you open up this section right here, you can actually see the plastic frame sheet. And this is the single aluminum stay that gives the shape of the main part of the bag. And here's another cool item is, if you stick all your stuff in here and you don't feel like lifting the flap or unflat, uh, uh, detaching the flap or opening it up, you have side access to the main compartment right here. It's a little bit harder to see, but let me just pull this out of the way. This is a side zipper that you can access without having to lift the main flap. You open this thing up and you can access the main compartment. As you can see, I'll stick my hand in through the side, comes out through the top. So you, if you're flexible enough, you might be able to access this without taking off your bag, but you probably still will. But this gives you the option of not having to undo any straps. So if you have stuff attached to your gear, or if you have a rain cover on, you can still open up this zipper and get to the main part of the bag. So yeah, it's pretty simple design, but very useful. I mean, it's well thought out, well laid out. Um, very comfortable to wear. I put some sandbags in here and just walked around the store. It felt really good. And I really like this uh, extra mesh pocket. If you are the type that likes to put things and pull them out of your bag all the time, you might like this feature uh, for easy access. Plus the fact that it holds 55 liters, that's incredible, that's a lot of gear. So if you're going for like extended periods of time, say you're doing a lot of trekking in the Himalayas or something like that, um, this might be a bag to look at. So just wanted to give you a look. Thanks for watching. That's my review of the Gregory Z55. Um, I'll put any extra details I get, like say weight and dimensions on the right side panel section. But until then, thanks for watching guys and uh, have a great day.